We're going to call this one bye week breakdown. Lap is in. Nice yes. to have you in. Thank oh, you, sir. I mean, you get a bye week at 3 and 0. Oh, and the Bengals come in with a quarterback that has a lot on his shoulders, and he has performed your breakout of uh, Andy Dalton through three games. He's done a phenomenal job, and I think Hugh Jackson's really helped him. Uh, he's not a volume thrower like he was with Jay Gruden. Hugh is definitely patient with the running game, and uh, Andy Dalton's doing what Andy Dalton does at the line of scrimmage, recognizing pre snap blitzes. Changing protections, 76, 77 yard touchdown passes. He's playing phenomenally well, but everybody is. It's not just one guy winning football games offensively, defensively, or special teams. They're very complete, very balanced. Everybody's contributing. Signs in the team room are don't listen to the noise. Uh, the noises are one of the best teams in the NFL. Your assessment? I think they are. I mean, I think they're right up there. I, I don't see other teams in the NFL playing as complete a football game as this group is, and they do have depth. Uh, only team in the NFL to start the year with a new offensive and defensive coordinator. I guess they're doing okay? Nothing short of brilliant, in my opinion. And I'll tell you, the players are buying what they're selling. They show up on Wednesday, what's the game plan this week? What's you going to do this week? They're excited about it. They're enthusiastic. It's like unbridled joy watching these guys. And, and Paul Gunther doing the same thing. Personnel groups, formations by Hugh on Paul's side of it. You know, different blitz packages, bringing uh, two and dropping nine into coverage, bringing eight and dropping three into coverage and everything in between. And he, he's really handled some really good quarterbacks. We saw the beginning of preseason. There might be some worry about depth. It hasn't materialized that way. Next man in has been big. Been real big, you know, and that's why they've won three football games. And now during the bye, they start to get bodies back. I mean, Marvin Jones, he hasn't, he's practiced one time with the Bengals. Hugh Jackson hasn't even incorporated him yet in the package. What will he do with Marvin Jones? This guy, an outside threat with A.J., he had 10 touchdown catches last year. Rex Burkhead comes back. Sean Porter comes back at linebacker. They're starting to get bodies back at the Calvary returns. All right, you rest your body this week. I right? will. You do, too. Dave, thanks.